Hello, I'm Miss Amber from the Savage Branch of the Howard County Library System, and I'd like to welcome you to Baby Games. This is our third April episode. It's a class for ages infant to two years. We're going to be spending about 15 minutes together doing some bounces, rhymes, songs, and tickles. You can expect new content every week, and you can find content on demand on YouTube. We're going to start with a welcome song called, Well, Hello, Everybody. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy. Rub your tummy. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy. Good. Now is a good opportunity for me to share an early learning tip. And that is puppets often capture children's imagination. Puppet play can provide opportunities for talking with your child and helps develop creativity, storytelling, and problem solving skills. We are going to work with puppets with a song and a rhyme. I have a little turtle and here is a box. First, I have a little turtle. There's my handsome finger puppet. I have a little turtle. He lives inside a box. He swims in the puddles and he climbs on the rocks. He snapped at a minnow. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at me. He caught that minnow. He caught that flea. He caught that mosquito. But he didn't catch me. Good. Let's do that again. I have a little turtle. He lived inside a box. He swims in the puddles and climbs on the rocks. He snapped at a minnow. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at me. He caught that minnow. He caught that flea. He caught that mosquito, but he didn't catch me. Good. Okay, next, here is a box. Here is a box, and here is the lid. I wonder whatever inside is hid. Hmm. I see something that is white and unique, but looks like a llama and begins with the letter A. It's an alpaca an alpaca good okay let's do that again here is a box and here is a lid i wonder whatever inside is hid let's take a look oh boy i see something green that says 
ribbit. What do you think that might be? Did you say frog? You are right. It's a frog. Good. Let's play again. Here is a box and here is a lid. I wonder whatever inside is hid. I see, oh boy, something gray with great big ears and a trunk. What animal is gray with great big ears and a trunk? Did you say an elephant? Do you see an elephant? Good. Let's play again three more times. Here is a box and here is a lid. I wonder whatever inside is hid. I see something that is spotted and that has a very, very long neck. What animal has the longest neck that you can think of? What animal is the tallest? Did you guess a giraffe? That's right, it's a giraffe. Okay, let's play our game two more times. Here is a box and here is a lid. I wonder whatever inside is hid. Hmm, let's take a peek. Oh, I see something that's black and white. It's a bird that swims but does not fly. It's black and white and a bird that swims. <gasps> Did you guess a penguin? <gasps> it is indeed a penguin. Good. I've got one last animal for you to guess. Here is a box and here is a lid. I wonder whatever inside is hid. <gasps> I see something red. It's a bird and it has a great big beak. A really big beak. <gasps> there it is. Hmm. You know, I thought it was a toucan, but maybe it's a parrot. So if you said parrot or toucan, you are both right. Good job. Okay, let's tap our box one last time. And that game was Here is a Box. Thanks for playing. Okay, let's play some baby games next. I'm gonna share again to see what our first baby game is. It is called Had a Mule. And you can have your babies on your lap. And it goes like this. Had a Mule, his name was Jack I rode his tail to save his back. Tail got loose and I fell back. Whoa, mule. Good, let's do that in person a couple of times. It's had a mule. Had a mule, his name was Jack. I rode his tail to save his back. Tail got loose and I fell back. Whoa, mule. Good. 
Lean back as far as you can. You can even fall back if you have the space to do so. Had a mule. Had a mule. His name was Jack. I rode his tail to save his back. Tail got loose and I fell back. Whoa, mule. Good, let's play another game. Hey diddle diddle. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun and the dish ran away with the spoon. Good. Okay, so we're going to do a lift and a fast bounce on that one. Hey diddle diddle. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun and the dish ran away with the spoon. Good, one last time so that everybody has an opportunity to play. Hey diddle diddle. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun and the dish ran away with the spoon. Good. What is next? It is our goodbye rhyme. This is a clapping rhyme. We're going to start by patting our knees, then clapping our hands. This is bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. Good. Let's do that a couple more times, slow and fast, high and low. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. Quiet, one last time. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye. Okay, sharing one last time so that I may share a daily activity uh, suggestion. And that is to pretend. Set up a pretend grocery store and let your child go shopping. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Baby Games. Goodbye.